All right, zero is my number for this is a magnetic eyelashes. Zero, sparkle. magnetic eyelashes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. doing bonus. You're doing eyelashes. Eyelashes. Hey, I'm Natalie. I'm Tara. And this is what I like to call a surprise jello mold. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Nope. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this whole setup. You went this whole way. This whole setup. Is this not happening today? No. Are you kidding me? I picked this sweater yes. for this Yes, part. yes. I didn't want you wearing the sweater either, but I couldn't get you out of it. I'm wearing it again. Surprise, Wow, Joe. you went really far. I'm going to give it to you. Best surprise I've ever, I did not see this coming. <laughs> Good, and you didn't see the jello mold in the fridge. All right. Tell them what's going on. Okay, so we have done a jello mold from Amanda Polikiniki Nayo <laughs> off of our Amazon wish list a while back, and we made a jello mold for the first time, and that was fun. Mm -hmm. But then I, and in that, I discovered how many different jello molds there are out there, and how crazy there are, and the aspects. Is that how you call it? Yep, them? that's the word. And we did one before, we called it mystery jello mold because it wasn't a surprise like this one is, and how they will all be from now on. <laughs> Tara is so good. <laughs> so upset. It's gonna get worse, Tara. Um, no, oh I didn't pick an easy one this My time. My brain went to all the. Po oh no! This is all hard boiled eggs because this is a hard boiled egg kind of week. Uh -huh. But they're they're just decoration. I can't deal with you right How now. How much do you want to know? Before no, I just go bring get it out. Just, just go, go get, get the stupid thing. Yeah, okay. let's do this. Oh my god. Ba ba da ba ba ba. <laughs> Why is it that color? Well, I'm going to tell you what it is, and the color is oh going to be even God, more confusing. That color is so dreadful. What flesh am I eating? This is um, a tuna mold. Oh my <laughs> God! No! No! That yeah. is not a thing that needs to go in a mold that wiggles. Uh huh, yeah. <sighs> But also, since the tuna mold, why is it that color? I mean, that's more of a salmon. <laughs> I mean, it does make sense, the color, no, but that is... No, it doesn't. You know what makes that that color? What is that? That's mayonnaise. Uh, you know what makes it that color? <laughs> you know what? Tomato soup. Stop! <laughs> no. 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 Do you want, do you want, to, do you want to know what's in it? All right, give me the, give me the ingredients. Okay, we got, we got tuna. Mm -hmm. There's toma a can of tomato soup. <laughs> Eight ounces of cream cheese. No, why? <laughs> why are you doing this to me? <laughs> and then some cucumbers, celery, pimentos, um, uh, salt, pepper, garlic powder. Uh, it is um, and gelatin, obviously. It is a if you if you remove the gelatin. That's oh, great. and mayo. That's, if you remove the gelatin, <laughs> it's just a spread. That's the thing. Is like everything about this is fine. It's just that you put it. That you that you added gelatin to it. I just mm -hmm. can't get around yeah. that idea. In my, I'm a mental eater. If it gets in my head, I can't. I, I might not make it through this. I don't know that you will. The eggs are for garnish. Oh great! I mean, what do you put in egg salad? I mean, a tuna salad. So basically, I think tuna salad with tomato soup for some reason. And there's just something about the idea of putting something that is gelatinous on a cracker that also is making my stomach. Yeah, turn. I know. Yeah, it's just supposed to go onto a cracker. It's a spread. All right, let's eat this. Mm -hmm. I have to tell you, I have been doing my evil cackle laugh the entire time I was working on this. Of course you have. Of course you have. I was like, she's never going to be okay with this. All right. Uh, and I did, I actually, this is, I, this is my own recipe. <laughs> this is your own? No, I found a recipe, but it had things like onions and bell peppers. Oh, and yeah, no, no, no. Walnuts and stuff like that, and I was like, I'm okay, going to no. take... This is a situation where no nuts need to be involved at no, all. No. no. I, uh, I I pick and choose which which ones I wanted. Like mm. I substitute cucumbers for the onions and the green peppers. Okay. And, you that know. makes sense. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's let's go ahead and try this. Yeah. All right. Actually, and and I'm like, think it's gonna be pretty good. Uh uh. -uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a spread, Tara. It's okay. a, like think of it more like a mousse. Cream cheese mousse. Like a mousse. mousse. Like a mousse. Not like not like chocolate mousse. Like a like, like a, a yeah yeah yeah. Like a like a pate. Yeah. A pate, yeah. yeah. Which didn't go well for me, anyways. Yes, it does look kind pate. of pate. Pate, pate, it's just pate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. You ready? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I love tuna. I love canned tuna. No, no. Really? It's not I'm bad. Gonna, I'm I mean, it tastes good, actually. 
It's just, I'm having a mental battle. I know. Uh huh. Would it help if I cut it no. into a slice? No. <laughs> a big mold. Here's the thing. Uh. <laughs> wrong with you as a human being. What is wrong with you as a human being right now? <laughs> the, the, the thing is, like, I love. Mm, I love tuna. I love canned tuna. Mm -hmm. We'll eat it straight, put hot sauce on it. Love it. There's something about the fishy and what I'm looking at mm -hmm. that is like I don't like fishy except for can't I yeah. cannot. I'm having a really hard time with this. It's a mind thing. Yeah. Like but I'm if having you think a, of it as a spread. Oh wait, it looks just <laughs> like pate. I'm gonna try it by itself just in case. I don't know. This is just bad. Yeah. Yeah. Like I think in time, I can work my brain around this and be able to eat this. I actually think this is really good. It's a really good recipe. I think actually I, we're going to link, we're not going to link the recipe, and we should put my recipe. Put your recipe down. below? Okay, yeah, we will definitely, because it is not bad. It's mm -hmm. just when I'm sitting here breathing, and then there's that fishiness, and I'm just thinking about you digging in there, and that <laughs> sound it's made, like it, none of this is working out in my head for me right now. But in time, I think I can learn to like this, though I, I mm, the fishy right now is just making me kind of, but it's not a bad recipe. You guys should try it. <laughs> Are you satisfied with yourself? Mm -hmm. Are you happy today? Uh huh. Oh, I'm so glad for you. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to the rest of this day. This was a payback for hot sauce. Mm. <laughs> Maybe this is why I dread driving to work today. Okay, that's enough of that. No, seriously, you should try the recipe. It actually is pretty good. My brain is the only problem that's here. And then, oh, and they really do say if you you can do this without the gelatin and it just makes a spread. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Yeah, like this without the gelatin would be mm -hmm. so good. It is. Yeah, it's just my brain. My brain can't deal with this. Okay, thank you guys for joining us for what are we calling this? <laughs> Surprise Jello. Surprise Jello. <laughs> All right, uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more thrilling content of this nature. I'm Tara. I'm Natalie. <laughs> Why can't I deal with that? I don't know, I think it's what really is, good. It's, it is tasty, but there's something like yeah. after I eat it that like I can't, I'm having a I'm struggling. Because on the cracker, there's so much texture to me that I can't even tell. I don't, yeah. I don't taste, it. the jello's not as, um, it's more in It's context. not as jiggly or anything. Yeah, no, it's not jiggly. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. It's so your brain, it's just your brain. <laughs> it was real. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One episode in the can. <laughs>